K-State defensive end Brendan Mott joins us now. And we've talked a lot today to your various teammates about some that are younger, some that are older, some that would probably still consider themselves young but have experience, and others that, like Austin Moore, who's been here since probably 1999. <laughs> uh, you are another guy that chose to come back, use that extra year. Yeah. What was that decision like for you to decide, do I want to leave or do I want to come back? Yeah, um, there's a lot of talk with my, my parents, my family, um, Coach Kleiman, uh, Coach Wyatt and them, and it ultimately came down to three things. Um, the first of it being is I felt like I had more to, to prove and to show on the field of what I could do um, in the open space and off the edge and kind of improve my draft stock as that's a dream of mine to make it to the next level. Um, and then secondly is we have a really exciting group, a uh, really exciting team, uh, for this ne this upcoming season, and I really wanted to be a part of that and kind of be a leader of that group, um, so that we can have success and then hopefully lead this group into a postseason for the Big 12 championship and the the new playoff system, which is really exciting, and and so on. And then, lastly, uh, I was, I'm getting my MBA right now, and I wanted to come back and finish that, and that's really important to me and my family. So. Uh, those three things and, and talking with Coach Kleiman and my teammates, it was it really became an easy decision on wanting to come back and finish it out the right way. What do you think will be the biggest strength of K-State's defense this season? Uh, the biggest strength, I would say, is just our depth in some position groups. Our linebackers has a lot of depth. Our D-line is full of depth, as Coach Kleiman has said. Um, has some really exciting guys and some transfers that I think are going to make a, a big impact on this on this team, on, on this defense, and we're going to be a lot of fun to watch when the season comes. Coach Kleiman has had a lot of praise throughout the day about the defensive line and, and what you guys could do this season. Uh, what is it that you think will make this year's defensive line performance different from last year's? Yeah, um, it was it's tough losing some, some good guys like Khalid and Nate, but it's it's really that next man up mentality and we got some really good kids with with really good potential that haven't been able to showcase their talents yet um toby moving from linebacker to, to d end and being able to come off the edge me and him uh i think that's really exciting to think about and i think cat fans are really going to enjoy that and a healthy uso is a beast and then we got some some young guys that really make some eye-opening plays in practice like Chidi, uh, our transfer Travis Bates who's who's a stud and then we got some younger guys that have really good raw talent with um, Jordan Allen and Ryan Davis and Donovan Ryman and kids like that. Uh, so we've gone three serious questions so we'll, we'll throw we'll throw a little softball here. Uh, we've had every player has done an impression of their position coach All right. so can you give us a good coach wide impression? Um, I don't really have an impression, more just things that I guess we kind of make fun of him about. He <laughs> this is what he Austin likes to add, about Coach He likes to add S's on the end of everything. So if our we have a call, it's bullet, and you'll say bullets and stuff like that. And then he doesn't pronounce his H's very well. So when he says huge, he says huge. And then we'll all start looking at each other laughing, and you'll be wondering what the heck's going on. So I guess we just give him crap about stuff like that. Uh, so it, it looks like the defensive line room has transformed not just in talent but also height and weight-wise. So what has kind of been the off-season strength training? Because it looks like a bunch of the defensive linemen have gotten huge, and even you've gained a lot of weight since fa this past season. Yeah, that was a that was a key thing for me this off-season is to, to put on that weight and strength. And we do have a bigger group of guys, and that's one thing that – we uh, we've taken really serious because we changed from the four down to the three down, and it is more s stuff going on inside. We were taking on double teams from the tackle and guard, where you kind of need that that weight and that strength to be able to hold your own there. And then as the season goes on, your body gets that wear and tear, and uh, it's it's great to be at like the 250 mark because towards the end of the season you might be weighing a little less. So to kind of have that um, that that high that that weight going into the season is, is really nice and it and it'll just only help us going into the postseason of being as fresh as possible you're one of the guys on this team that played on the big 12 championship team i know that it's different set of circumstances 16 teams versus 10 teams this year but 
how do you feel like with all these expectations that are on you guys, this team compares to the team that was able to win it in 2022, and is this team capable of doing that? Um, yeah, I think we're, we're definitely capable. I think it's tough to compare this team to the 2022 team because it's full of a bunch of different guys and players and playmakers but just talking about our culture that we have within our program and and the work that we've put in this off season and summer it's it is really exciting and it's I think that's really useful or really helpful to have guys like kind of me and Austin and those guys that were a part of and Hadley that were a part of that 2022 championship team to kind of know what the standard was and what it was like and what the culture was like and to try to carry that forward to this upcoming season to kind of hold our guys accountable and really have that championship mindset like this is our goal and and we're not going to take anything less than than that. Uh, how can you guys use the Pop Tarts Bowl against NC State as a springboard? Yeah, uh, that that was an awesome bowl. That was a fun game, and that kind of I think excelled us going into the winter and the spring. On, it's always good to to win that bowl game because you got a good taste in your mouth, kind of, and uh, we we showcase some new stuff in that bowl that we we kind of worked more on in the spring, and we're going to work a lot more on in the fall to. Uh, to really show our fans, especially on the defensive side, some some cool new things um, of, of different guys doing different things, like me coming off the edge more, dropping that I think is going to make our defense better, and, and I think Cat, Cat fans are really, really going to enjoy it. For you guys on the defense, and maybe you more specifically, because you're getting really a taste of everything that's kind of new or could be different about the offense this year, where you've got, you're lining up against new offensive linemen that are getting more playing time, obviously Avery, DJ, Dylan, all that. What has stood out to you when you guys in practice situations have gotten to go against the offense? What, what stands out there? Yeah, uh, a whole bunch of playmakers. I know we lost a bunch of guys on the O-line, but we still have great experience with, with Hadley and, and Taylor Portier and then Easton Kilty transferring in. He has a bunch of experience, and he's really good. I, I think our offensive line isn't going to skip a beat when it comes to, to how good we were in the past couple of years. And practicing against them, like I said, a bunch of playmakers. It's having Coach Wells back there with Coach Riles and those two working together uh, with Avery and, and, and Dylan and DJ and, and all of our wide receiver group uh it's exciting it's tough to go against at some points but uh it's it's really exciting uh my last question for you we've talked about uh with every player that's came by about uh the a sports college football 25 game so what, what does it mean to you to be in the game it's super cool uh especially as a kid i feel like it's every kid's dream you know when you're playing and you do the creative player and you put your name on it you make it 99 overall blah blah, blah. But it, it was a really surreal to we played the game earlier to actually see yourself in the game. and It's, it's kind of like young me's dream come true kind of thing. And see your teammates even out there playing as your teammates, playing as yourself. It was, it was a really cool experience. One of the things I think got lost in all this is when people were talking about, like, oh, how do you, how do, you do the compensation for this? What is it? Are, are you guys as players pleased with the, I guess, determination that EA came to, hey, we're going to give you X amount in NIL, give you a copy of the game, just to have your likeness in there. Is that is that good enough for you guys? I think so. I think I think a lot of players would have opted into it if they would have gotten, I think players would have paid for the game if they were still in it, because <laughs> that's, like I said, I feel like that's a lot of young, young boys' dreams to be in the game, so uh, that's not something we're, we're real too concerned with and it's just kind of like extra bonus that we're happy with we, we heard that you won the game against avery yeah. so are, are you going to hang that over his head for a little bit oh yeah i'll definitely that won't be the last time that that gets brought <laughs> up uh so it was it was fun me versus him wasn't a very uh like fun game to watch i won eight zero and i scored with like a minute left when they played half a half a game it feels but, like a courtney messingham offense yeah so but no it was fun and uh all for sure bring that up every now and then to remind them. I'll, I'll finish off with this. Were you pleased with the look and the feel and everything of the game? Yeah, it was cool. The, the stadium looked really cool. The, the jerseys, the players, It's I think, I think people are really going to enjoy it. Awesome. Well, we appreciate the time, Brendan. Best of luck this season. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.